Now, isn't it crazy? Man, I'm telling you. I start out my day. Uh, I look down at my phone. And it was 144. And as soon as I looked at my, I looked at my phone, it went to 145. This has happened more than once. Man, I'm telling you. I have seen maybe a half a dozen mile markers all day long. The very first mile marker I saw was 14.4. Then I saw 4.41. Then I saw 4.14. And I'm... <laughs> I was just thinking about this. I was just thinking about it. Listening to this guy that made a video that you should watch. Because this this guy don't don't give an easy he he talks smack too well. I mean, he don't he may not be like me, but he tells it how it is. And I look over 1.44 thousand. Yeah. 1.44. <laughs> oh my goodness. You should watch this video right here. Isaiah 30, Matthew 18. 11 they don't want you to see and the guy that made the video is the god zone and i'm sorry this guy is talking the same stuff talk, I, I mean people ain't gonna like him man you know i don't care that people say i mean I don't look here. There's something that people are guilty of and they all go around saying the same thing, the same thing. And that right there shows me how guilty people are. This lets me know how guilty people are that even last night, uh, I started reading something that I saved onto my phone. I don't remember saving it, but I read it. And this person said the same thing everybody else out here says. I know people are indoctrinated. I don't care. I know people are indoctrinated. When everybody says the same thing, I know people are indoctrinated. When people sit here and say, you can't be snatched out. And then they say, God will make sure. God ain't going to make sure of nothing. God isn't going to make sure of nothing to the people that reject the truth. God isn't going to, I mean, I, the, what, what, what word was brought up? Chastisement. I'm like, uh, 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 just like, oh, wait, 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 wait. I want, I want you to hear what he said. I sit there and I went looking for this scripture. I went looking for this scripture and I could not find it. I glit and I could not find it. I went looking for it. I don't know where it's at, so I'm gonna have to play a little bit of this video. That is already in place for salvation. Uh, we'll go write it on the table and note it in the book that we may be forever, and time forever and ever. Now, that his, that this is a rebellious people, 
lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. This is the law of the Lord is spiritual, which say to the seers, see not. Then we don't want to know the truth, even though we can see it. Even though we uh, know what's coming down, we got this word of God. We don't want to see it. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. And prophesy deceit. This is the epitome of the plastic church today. The plastic churches who get up there and sell you a bunch of feel-good crap. And they all ride around in limousines and have these big, huge churches. Uh, we, why do they exist? Because we tell them. Give us the easy stuff. Don't give us the hard stuff. Don't tell us we can't uh, uh, lavish in our sins. Don't tell us that we can't still uh, be uh, fidelites, or if that's even a word, but be infidel. And don't tell us we can't be drunks, preacher man. Just give us this easy stuff that we can do so we can go on about our evil lives and uh, live in the dark. This is why these types of churches exist. It's because of us. Get you out of the way, turn aside, out of the path, and cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. This Holy One of Israel is God, and God is Jesus, and Jesus is God. We don't want to accept. Jesus said, if you loved me, you would do the things that I tell you to do. Did you hear that? You would follow me. And Did all we want that? to do now is rely Jesus on our weakness said, and say, oh, we can't do this for a week. Jesus said, if you love me, you would do the things I tell you. And that's exactly what Christians aren't out here doing. That's exactly it. I mean, I, I, there is a scripture. I don't know it. In two miles, take exit 20 for New York 149 toward Fort Ann, Whitehall. There's a, there's a scripture where Jesus says, why aren't you? I mean, man, I don't know. I don't know it word for word. But this guy just got done saying, Jesus sit here and said, why aren't you doing the things I told you? That's right. I mean, it, when people are going to go around saying, well, what Jesus was saying was to the Jews, but to the Jews. Yeah. People don't want to seek righteousness. They want to sit here and like he said, lavish in their sins. I'm going to tell you, got a rude awakening, got a rude awakening coming. I'm going to tell you that right now. You might as well wake up while you got an opportunity. You're going to, you're going to have a rude awakening one day. Again, Isaiah 30, Matthew 18 dot 11. They don't want you to see the God zone. Now, why is there somebody else out here talking about how, you can't live a sinful life because you can't. In a half mile, you've been lied to. For New York you know what he called it a minute ago? You know what he called it a minute ago? The blind leading the blind. That these people out here that everybody's looking up to, thinking that they're going to give the correct message, are blind themselves, just like the church. Yep. That's exactly what he said. The blind leading the blind. Yep. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that these people that... I, I'm sorry that these people are so far off from the truth. And then they're out here giving a message like they know the truth. And then the people became overnight Cracker Jack box theologians. And they think they're giving the truth. And they're right out here, right here on YouTube. All you got to do you believe. And you know, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference if this guy's reading from the Old Testament. The reason why it doesn't make a difference is because the majority of the Old Testament is still relevant to this day. That's right. By far, the majority of the Old Testament is still 100% relevant to this day. Yep. What? Go watch this video. Go watch that video and listen to the things he says. 
you know, he may not act like a dumbass like me. So maybe you can find somebody else to listen to that tells the truth. I'm telling you, ain't not a one person out here is going to get away with living a sinful life and calling themselves born again and not be a new creation. This is not a new creation church out here that people are professing to know Jesus or to profess to be saved, to profess to believe while they're still out here in sin, living for the devil. Jesus pointed this stuff out. I mean, 